Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is, well, different. We're sitting down again. You know, when the show first started, it was, I sat down to talk. Uh, and then I got used to the standing up because I like the stand up energy. But we're back to sitting down. Mm. I could shoot this standing up, but I think the table would disappear in the shot. So, and the table has always been a part of the show, so I wanted to kind of stay, you know, like, or something. But anyway, it's done. The bench is finished. I, uh, I had a busy weekend. I had kid stuff to do, uh, uh, transporting kids, time with kids, shopping, that sort of stuff. But uh, Saturday, I spent six hours down here finishing this bench. I think that's all I did. Usually when I come down here to work, I end up tinkering on something and making something else, like a tool holder or whatever. But I think I just came down here with the intent of finishing the bench, and I finished the bench. Completely done, in place. The old bench has been torn down and is living, sadly, in a corner uh, for now. I think my neighbor's going to take uh, the bench and turn it into something, uh, maybe another bench or something like that, but he, uh, I asked him if he wanted the wood, and he said, yeah. So here we are. New, new era for the show. Microphone is now over here, which I don't like, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't like that it, 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 it doesn't look right here. It, it kind of, I don't know. <laughs> doesn't matter, I don't think, at all. <laughs> It could maybe it'll sit over there in the future. I'm not sure, but uh, the the point is the bench is done, and um, I'm really happy with it. I'm really really happy. I I know that I talked about all the flaws. There are flaws. Uh, the bench was built incorrectly. Uh, I talked last week about wanting to have this lip like I have on this bench where the top sticks out. Um, and the reason that I didn't the reason I didn't do that here. Well, well, the reason that I built, built the bench the way that it is is so that I could achieve that lip. Because this bench is only 25 inches wide, uh, if I were to have, say, a 3-inch hanging out here, 3 inches hanging out on each side, that would have made the base like 18 inches or something, 18 and a half, 19 inches, something like that. And I feel like that would have been too narrow, it would have been too tippy. So I decided to bring the legs all the way out to the face of the bench, which serves a dual purpose. It allows me to clamp something to a leg so I can, you know, clamp it flush and, it, and the top doesn't interfere. Whereas if I tried to clamp something to a leg here, it would be like, you know, sticking out at a weird ass angle. So this allows me to have um, a, a flush clamping point, which I want. Uh, and so I set the stretchers back in, which means that I have room for clamping here and on the other side. Uh, the two ends, I do not have, well, this end I have a little bit of a hangover. This end I also made flush with the legs, kind of. This side is flush. This side sticks out because the base isn't square. <laughs> Nothing. This top is perfect. This top is square and flat. I could put a straight edge on here. It does not rock at all. It doesn't have a belly. It's a nice, super flat work surface. The base sucks. But after everything was said and done, after I epoxied all the joints and doweled them for reinforcement, after I attached the top, it is rock solid. It's not going anywhere. And look at this. It doesn't roll around like the old table did. It can. I did put um, like retractable casters, so that if I want to roll it, I can. But right now, I don't need to. Where it's sitting is perfect. Uh, I've got like two or three feet of space here, two feet of space, well, three, yeah, two and a half, three feet of space over there, which means I can walk all the way around this bench and not have to move anything. Fantastic. The old bench, if I wanted to use the miter saw, I had to push it over on this side. If I wanted to use something over here, I had to push the table over on that side, and it was just a pain. Uh, this also means that Malia can come down here and work with me because we'll, she'll have room to stand. She can stand there. I can stand here. She wants to learn. Like, she wants to do woodworking, too, so uh, we can discover and we can work on projects together without having to constantly be shoving this table around. So I'm really, really, really happy. Um, it left me with a few oddities. For one, I lost 
the shelf. Uh, I had a shelf on the bottom of the table that had uh, my vacuum um, sander set up. I have a small vacuum that I use as a dust extractor and a sander that was always there, ready to go. I had two routers, two palm routers with dedicated bits set up ready to go. So if I wanted to do some um, chamfering or whatever, I could knock that out real fast. And I had like a rotary tool. I had, I had tools that were handy to go. And I had this set up. So the soundboard, then, then when I wanted to use the tabletop, I had a place to set the mic stand. So I don't have that anymore. And I could put a shelf down here like I had and, and use it, but I don't want that. Uh, the intent is this will eventually have a cabinet under it with like six or eight drawers for hand tools, uh, chisels, planes, things that I don't want to get. If I open my garage door right now, condensation will set and then I get rust. And so I'd like to have a place to put those things that that doesn't happen. Hmm. I'm thirsty for some reason. So I know if I put a shelf down there, <laughs> chances of me actually building anything is slim to none. So I need to figure out another solution for all of those little tools. I want to build, I'm going to use the wheels off the old table to build a rolling cart for the sander setup so that I'll have the other thing that I don't have on this bench is power. On the old bench, I had a power strip on the leg so I could plug stuff in. I liked having the power immediate. Like, this stuff stayed plugged in there. But I had an extension cord running, and every time I had to move that table, it would bump in. You know, I'd have to move the extension cord. It was in the way. So I like, very much like the idea of having my sanding, like, sanding slash power bank assembly slash hand tool cart will be in the corner, and when I want to use it, I can pull it out, plug in, go. So I think I'm going to build a little mobile setup. When I'd like to have an overhead arm for my sander so that my power cord and stuff is coming down from the top. That way, when I set the sander down, it doesn't fall off the table because the hose yanks it off the table. So I've got plans there. I need to make that. That, that actually I will make before I make the drawers because that'll, right now these tools are just kind of all scattered about. But I think the next thing I need to make is a is a you know, video casting, podcasting setup, some sort of enclosure for this box, for the lights uh, switch. Uh, not necessarily for the microphone. I think the microphone will just sit. So it'll be a box that this can all, that this can stay contained in that will keep it from being dirty. And that way, when I want to set up for the show, I can pop this thing out, set it on the table, and go. And I don't have to fiddle with stuff. Um, so that needs to happen sooner rather than later. So I'm not moving this thing around. I had, this is actually, I've recorded this video twice because the first time there was no audio. I moved this and the XLR cable that goes into this doesn't click in. I think it got hit with something. So it just sits in there. There was zero audio, just completely useless. So I actually had to record this twice, but that that's okay because I now have the B-roll so I could talk about the stuff that, uh, that I wanted to talk about. And oh, and I have a slide out tray here, which you can't see it on camera if I pull it out, but I will show it to you on the um, on the B-roll. That lets me set stuff, you know, on that while I'm working on the bench so I'm not knocking tools on the floor. Or if I need to move my project, I can put things down on that little slide out tray. Uh, that I think will be very, very handy. I'm excited about that. And that's honestly probably the best part of the bench. <laughs> um, and this top, this top is some sort of plastic that Malia's dad found at work. It came off of a pallet. Don't know what it is, but it's very resistant to adhesives. It seems to be um, a little, it has a tiny bit of give to it, which means it's not going to dent real easily. Uh, but I like it a lot. And um, the last thing, oh, the, the trim, I, I made the trim detachable. It's just threaded inserts and furniture bolts. So if I want to ever replace this trim, I can. I decided to make the trim out of pine for two reasons. One, I had it. I was gonna use like cherry or oak, but I don't have enough of either one. I could have done like mix and match, but I didn't want that. I have lots of pine. And then when I thought about it, I would rather it be pine because I do end up working in pine fairly frequently. And so I would rather the bench get dinged up than whatever it is I'm working on. So if I have a cabinet or, you know, and I set it down on here real hard or whatever, I would rather this rail get damaged than the piece that I'm working on. So I'd rather this be a softwood. And I'm not, I'm not that hard on my stuff, but like the rails on my miter saw bench are pretty dinged up. And I would rather 
these rails do that than me hurt projects in the future. So it's done. I'm really happy. I'm super happy. I just, now I need to make some more tool holders and figure out some more organizational tasks and, you know, the, all the other projects that we want to do, end tables and a rolling desk for my couch and that kind of stuff. So what'd you do this weekend? We did play some games. We played um, one game of Imperial Miners. We played a game of uh, God of War, the card game. I have thoughts on both of those. I will be doing videos for those on the uh, gaming channel. And then I played a whole bunch of Earth and Seven Wonders Duel on BGA. So I had a decent weekend. Lots of stuff got done. What did you get done? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know sounds smart as respite. It is a noun meaning a temporary delay from something distressing. Sweet flower of hope, free nature's genial child, that didst so fair disclose thy early bloom, filling the wide air with a rich perfume. For thee in vain all heavenly aspects smiled, from the hard world brief respite could they win. Samuel Taylor Coolridge, an English poet. English. <laughs> respite. R-E-S-P-I-T-E. Why did I say English? That's weird. I also feel like I've done that word once. I mean, I obviously did it earlier, with, but did we do that on Friday?